Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlaman.com and I am back with another tutorial video and in this video we are going to create a new FM project. So let's start. Uh, I already opened IBM Cognos Framework Manager and if you want to know how to open Framework Manager then you have to click on start all, pro all program and then IBM Cognos Business Intelligence and then you have to select Framework Manager. Okay, uh, now it's time. Uh, to create a new project uh, you can click on file or new to create a new project or press this new button or new icon from the toolbar okay uh, also you can select or click on this link create a new project or open an existing project if you are you if you want to open an existing project uh, for this video I want to click on uh, create a new project or I can click on here create a new project or I can select this the shortcut is control N and I'm going to name it my first my first FM model okay and I want to create this project inside my C users my Sangvi documents projects FM and my first model okay uh, for the time being uncheck the use dynamic query mod I'm going to explain what is use dynamic query mod in my future videos for the time being just uncheck it and click on ok now IBM Cognos framework manager is creating a project for you if IBM Cognos framework manager is asking for single sign on then you have to provide a single sign on for this you have a proper username and password and finally IBM Cognos Framework Manager is verifying the security settings and now is now we have to provide our username and password ok administrator is my username and the password is 123456 ok click on ok from select language window you have to select the appropriate language for this video or for me I am going to select English and click on ok Finally, uh, Framework Manager is asking whether we have to run metadata wizard or not. For If you want to run metadata uh, wizard, then you have to select source and then you have to create a new connection or you have to provide the tables or the views which you want to import. Right now, I am not going to run the metadata wizard. So just click on cancel and now your first FM model project is created. Okay, uh, now let's start with the GUI of Framework Manager. So this is your file menu or menu bar. This is your toolbar for quick access the most commonly used um, options like open new, open save, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. And the leftmost window is the project where this is going to list down all the available query subjects or items available in your FM project. Now in the middle section this is the main work area where you can see the available query subject and modify those query subject if required. For detailed explanation I am going to explain each and every tab in detail in the future video. For the time being, just remember this is your work area or the area where you can define the relationship or find the sub or find the query subjects. And the last is last is your toolbar or tool window. In this, you can find all the available components in your FM project. You can run a metadata wizard or you can find the dependencies or depend you can find the dependencies between two query subject and here is again the dependency window and this is for search if you want to search something or you want to find or search a query subject then you can perform a search here now the last window is remaining is the property window and you can okay my property window is only already enabled so let's create a namespace and check its properties uh, I think yeah 
here is the property window the properties windows is the collection of all the properties which you are able which you want to change or the property of selected component you can change the name or other stuff in the property window okay now I think uh, I covered everything uh, if you by mistakely close anything uh, let's say name cannot be empty oh sorry for that uh, if by mistake you close everything then you can again view those window by clicking these three buttons and one thing you are not able to close the main work area okay so you are only able to switch the view mode of a project viewer or a property window or a tool box or tool window now this is the brief introduction on framework manager in my next video I am going to explain how to import a database table or view in your framework manager model so thank you for watching this video if you are facing any issue if you want any queries leave a comment I will try to respond as soon as possible with proper resolutions so thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video